Sorry for the wait, everyone. Mic check, mic check. Like everything is working properly tonight. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Lost Time Show with your host, Lawler Hicks. How y'all doing? Don't speak all at once now. <laughs> it's continuing our journey, our exploration of the area from Martin and outward. Although it's a very interesting place, I am finding myself making it finding it difficult to stay awake for the past two streams. That should be different this time, both because I'm full of energy drinks right now, and I had some decent sleep yesterday evening for once, as compared to last time. It appears that everything is working properly tonight. Sometimes I do a double take and wonder if my lip syncing is working properly, but I guess I'll just have to get used to the fact that not everything is perfect, right? So let's go ahead and continue. <laughs> Let's see now. I guess if I wanted to run back there and pick up everything that I missed, it would still take me a hot minute anyway. Oh, wait. Now I remember. We're going to head over there up to the bunker and continue our quest. Before we do that, though, we need to dump a lot of this stuff and only bring the bare necessities this time. Which I keep saying every time I play this game, but then I don't do it because I'm kind of a whore when it comes to collecting loot. Just pick up all the things, am I right? Even if it's really impractical. Where did I put my... Where's my armored bag, anyway? Not over here, is it? Did I leave it out here in the front? Bro, where did my- Oh! I keep it in the end, of course. Forgot about that. So let's go ahead. Go through here. Of course, this has too much stuff in it. Open the trader backpack. Open this backpack. We're gonna rearrange... Our... Equipment for the tidings to come. As much as I enjoy carrying the Master Trader boots, I probably should think about, you know, getting an actual pair of boots. A proper pair of boots, I should say. Right to carry around. I should probably go ahead and purchase that uh, epic pistol, if I can, if it's still being sold. And I really do need to... What's this? Oh, that's just a cage key. I thought that was something else. That was important. And a lot of money as well. And these for refilling my weapons. Bring the pickaxe too. Also the arrows. And also the potions. But we need to dump everything else. We're not going to be needing this uh, enchantments for a while. I we'll need these. Keep the wood this away. Keep, keep the palladium in case of emergencies. Don't need more than one tent. Just need the, the tent. Keep, put the grilled mushrooms away as well. Keep the fungal cleanser. 
Keep the travel rations. Keep the crystal powder. Keep this. Man, I really do carry too much junk with me when I go on these adventures, don't I? It feels like I have a choice between going on an adventure and collecting everything I see and struggling to get back home, or not. I guess this is thoroughly a me problem, but, you know. Let me test something really quick. Oh, that still works. Oh. These are all fairly heavy. I still need to purchase some good, a decent pair of boots. Since I can't forge one right now. What's inside my alchemist backpack again? Steel. Sup, nerd. How are you doing today? I'll show you a bitch. It's not me. Just BT dubs, you know. Thank you for the head, Pat. How are you doing tonight, Steel? Glad you can make it. I'm surprised you made it, actually. I thought you have work, like, right now. Too many rams on floor 8? Really? I almost never see rams anymore. They're almost like an endangered species to me. So it's good that there's some still around in the wild. Nothing but rams? Hmm. Maybe if you're up later, I can show you a ram. So to speak. Is there a way for me to arrange this stuff by weight? Why does everything weigh so much? Damn, yeah, man. I guess I don't really need the mining pick. And I know when I go down there, I'm going to be saying, Oh shit, I wish I brought a mining pick or something dumb like that. Because you know, that's always what happens when I leave things behind. Looks like I'll need to repair my guns later too. And you know what? Let me go ahead and do this now. Let me go check to make sure they're all actually, you know, loaded. So I don't have any more embarrassing moments of where... Oh, here's, see, here's one that doesn't have any ammunition. My day off today was going to that tournament, but it's been discontinued because the place hasn't had internet for weeks. Oh, that sucks. I hope they bring them back eventually. That really sucks that they discontinued them for a the time being. And I really hope it is just for the time being. <laughs> I'm glad you can make it to the to to tonight's stream though. Always appreciate that. For tonight's stream, we're going to continue our exploration of the bunker that's all the way to the top north uh west of the map, which has a working magical train in it, which I thought was kinda cool. I'm going to try and be more practical about this because I'm kind of getting a little self-conscious 
of having street our chat just watch me slog slowly crawling back home with a mouthful of shit in my bag you better have the money so i know that's totally me being a dumbass but you know what can i say hey millie my day's been okay thanks for asking how have you been how's your day been <laughs> Not too bad. I'm glad to hear it. Welcome to the stream. Glad y'all could make it. Just doing a little adverting tonight, as per usual. I'm really tempted to spend my money on this, but I know it's I don't need it. What I really need are metal pieces, something to replace my Master Trader boots for a time being, which I'll just be using to run from out of run back to the dungeon to pick up stuff. I guess I could just purchase some Oh Thank you for sliming me, Steel, you horn dog. <laughs> that feel when the Master Trader boots actually has more damage resistance than the padded boots. More damage resistance than the actual dedicated armor. How fucked up is that? I guess just because they're Master Trader boots doesn't necessarily mean that they are not decent, like, at armoring, I guess. But even the Keizai boots have better armor resistance, but only by a few points, I guess. Maybe I don't actually need to get armored boots, and I should just go ahead and keep wearing these Master Trader shoes. Right? Can I help you? Oh, the wolf gun is missing. Well, actually, I think it's this one that sells the uh, Need something. that sells the fancy weapons, right? Because they have a big Palladian mace here. They have these really cool. There's a shield here made of marble. An ornamental shield, which is made of marble. That's kind of that's kind of cool. That's kind of metal. Get it? Metal. These are all the things that I sold to them. So. Not interested in buying back any of this garbage. Didn't I see something earlier? Today over here. Is there something you need? I already have all these recipes too, so I don't really need any of these. I even sold this case I had light helmet because I preferred having money to not having money. Is there something you need? Me buy five of these. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and um, just prepare to head up there normally. Continue our quest. Continue our journey, as it were. It's also 3 in the afternoon. We're going to have a nice early nap and then we'll make our way over there. I need to spend the day repairing my equipment anyway. Or some of my equipment. I should probably not bring so many uh, drinks and so many potions, huh? out of health potions though which is a cause for concern let me tell you i don't think i can make any more health potions right now i don't have the proper beetles all right i think this is a more appropriate loadout 
for our journey, wouldn't you say, chap? More or less? More or less? We sure have been going a long way with just using a claymore. I really love this thing. It's probably going to be a while until I find a better one. I'm also really glad I picked up this pearlescent mail from when I looted the bodies of my allies from earlier. I just kick ass with this loadout, honestly. Alright. With that out of the way. Let's go ahead and take us a nice nap. And then we'll head on our... continue our dungeon diving. Tomorrow morning. I also like that the plant tent actually keeps you hydrated and fed. How it does this is a mystery, it is not explained in the game, but I imagine it's fairly uh, practical, fairly interesting maybe. Alright, here we go on a wild adventure once more into the breach. Outward into the breach, as it were. Thank you for joining me on tonight's journey. Hopefully it'll be a lot of fun, and we'll get plenty of progress tonight. Oh, oh shit! What the fuck? I just left the gate, goddammit. For fuck's sake. Oh my god, that was fucking stupid. As soon as I exited the town gate, the town door, I get attacked by something I couldn't even see. It's a good thing I have so much fucking armor now, and, uh, and a badass sword, and I was able to catch him with both of my counterattacks while blind. Because, oh my god, look at this shit, chat. This game never changes, let me tell you. This will take a little bit of time to repair our equipment, take a nice nap, recover. I can't believe this, chat. <laughs> I can't believe I actually got injured so badly already. Literally, as soon as I open the door, whoops, get attacked by a rogue Robo Doggo, right? Messed up. Just so messed up. But we're good as new now. So... I can't complain too much. Can I? One thing I'm going to do, though. Here we go. Let me just check to make sure... That all non-essential programs are no longer running. I can't... For some reason, Spotify keeps popping up on my stream PT. It's very annoying. Like, super fucking annoying. Can I test something really quick? Alright, there is a difference. Just going to do this a little bit. Actually, now the mic's kind of 
in my way. Let's put it over here. And let's face it there. Now. Has the two PC setup been working out well for me? Um, yes and no. When it works correctly, it do, it's stupidly beautiful. I will... It's kind of hard to go back to a time when I didn't have the ability to use my full model while playing virtually any video game. But sometimes it does give me headaches. Like, for example, sometimes um, the connection between my Elgato capture card and my gaming PC just has this weird green disaster, which was a nightmare to fix, and I fixed it by literally pulling it out of my PC and plugging it back in. So I don't know if there's like a distortion or if the connections were incorrect or what. There's also sometimes, even though this uh, streaming PC is far newer than the gaming one, it has strange bugs from time to time. Um, just and also it still uses it's still running off a hard drive, so it is the uh, startup time is fairly slower, and I can only imagine that it's running the programs a little bit slower than my gaming PC, which uses an SSD right now. I might have to upgrade that, or I might need to move the streaming PC to an SSD sometime in the near future, or at least run these programs off of it. So, but, um, and also, I can't help but feel like I was looking over some of my old VODs, and I swear that little things like my uh, voice lip sync were superior on their when I was doing everything on one PC which is weird because it's obvious that my streaming PC is able to handle OBS and three different programs that weren't running at once a lot better than my gaming PC ever did or at least without the added strain of actually you know playing video games at the same time but also I don't know if it's really just my brain making playing tricks on me I know that whole thing that I used to complain about earlier, about my left ear having pro hearing problems, really was all in my head, because I've not complained about that in a long time. As you guys have probably noticed, I don't complain as much as I used to. So, um, not gonna lie, there's a lot of things I wish I could do better, and I probably could do better if I invest them. At Micro Center, they suggested that I get a another device. Um, and some software to properly split my audio because right now i have my headset plugged into the streaming pc because i can only hear the audio from the game when it's being streamed to obs on my stream pc and even though it's fairly fast there is like a few milliseconds of lag which fucks me up on games that are really reliant on audio cues especially guilty gear strive I'm doing a lot better in Guilty Gear, playing Guilty Gear on stream now because there's no next to no FPS drops and my input, there's next to no input lag, but the audio cues are completely off. So some characters I do worse against for the fact that I don't, I can't rely on audio cues. You might be able to use NDI for your model and just have a slight delay in the gameplay. What's NDI? I mean, the model right now is doing just fine. I imagine that the streaming PC is pretty much spending all of its processing and power and memory just running that and also encoding OBS, obviously, but... Also, there's the fact that the streaming PC does is running two GT or GTX 1080s in SLI mode. I wonder if it would be, be if there would be any improvement if I were to swap those out for the 1080 Ti I have. Because remember, my stream PC used to be used um, for mining, or for mining Ethereum. I haven't mined in a while because it's turning my room into a boiler room. I'm thinking about turning the miner back on just when I'm idling because winter is here and my room gets really, really, really cold during the winter. Sorry, add one second. Oh, I'm sorry. Um.
Cindy Cat, welcome to the stream. Welcome, thank you for the raid. Oh, Natalie. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, raiders. Uh, Steel, if you're around, can you please up? Oh my god. Steel, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Millie. Much appreciated. Let me go ahead and shout out Cindy Cat and Natalie, please. Ah! Oh. oh, thank you for the follow, Cindy Cats. Welcome, welcome. You're now officially a Lolly. Welcome to the Lolo's Time Show. To the Lolo's Time Show with your host, Lolo Hicks, local shitposter AI who is currently trapped on Twitch. How are y'all doing tonight? Ah, this is gonna go on for a while, chat. Ow! Give me a second here. Yeah, it has to be like this. <laughs> See? Oh, actually, I don't think I have it locked to mods, so pretty much anyone can just do just can just type an exclamation so and it'll shout themselves out. Um, it's uh feeling a bit tired, but I'm doing alright. How am I doing? I'm doing okay, all things considered. I'm a lot more awake than I have been the previous week, so hopefully I don't fall asleep on stream this time. Which is not a common occurrence, let me tell you. But it's been happening a few times, and I felt kind of bad about that. Otherwise, I'm glad to have you all here. What were you all playing tonight? Um, what are what did you what were you guys playing tonight? Actually, let me put my golem scraps away here so I can free up some room in my bag. For tonight's stream, we're just continuing a dungeon diving experience that I started uh, last week. We're entering a kind of magical, a magic tech bunker is the best way I could describe it. Ah, uh, yeah, I fell asleep an hour, like an hour before the stream. Lamal, I feel that. I didn't play anything. I just watered my plants and collected skulls. Ooh, very nice. I hanged out with Cindy. I played Sound Voltex, or rather a clone of it, which is a rhythm game. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> I never heard of Sound Voltex, but just from the name, it sounds like it must be a fun game. How do you do, fellow rhythm gamers? I too can into rhythm games. I haven't. Uh, the only rhythm game I play with anything approaching uh, serious business is. Oh my god, did I really forget the name of it already? Um, I forgot the name of it already. Uh, let me see if I can... I can't. There is actually no web browser built to geo good old games. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, beat Off? Beat, beat Them? Beat Them Up? It's an indie a rhythm game that got released on Kickstarter. But yeah, you can find Sun Voltex at, at an round one arcade assuming i live i do live in the u.s but i don't have a round one arcade next to me unfortunately uh my local arcade is a independent one not part of like a big corporate not part of like a big company or whatnot so i'm not even sure i would not sure if they would have that i'll look for it unbeatable yes uh, unbeatable is the um only rhythm game i currently play at the moment but fun stuff either way um, I will be sure to check out Sound Voltex the next time I go to a proper arcade. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful day in Outwar, isn't it? We are going from here to up here, up to the ancient bunker. Assuming I don't get lost again, which seems to be fairly common. Lulz, I saw on your Twitter. What did you see on my Twitter? You ate Nilaga? Yeah, I did. Uh... We had some leftover pork hocks, and my mom went to my dad to make some nilaga, uh, pork nilaga for once, so we had that. Tonight, my mom felt like using my Japanese curry that's been sitting there for a while, and you our, our curry sticks to make Japanese curry, so I had that for dinner tonight instead. She did a fairly good job, too, for someone who's never made curry before, so I'm kind of jealous. The first time I tried to make curry, it was way too dry. Uh... Basically, I have a small controller. Ah, uh, the mini controller. I see this around, or if you ever go to an anime convention. 
I did actually go to Dragon Con uh, not too long ago, and they had some rhythm games there, but I didn't think they were called Song, but there was a Sound Voltex amongst them. A one con uh, sound voltage pad. Use Bula Lo Nilaga Aka Beef Nilaga Mix. We usually make Nilaga out of beef short ribs, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Are you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know what Nilaga is, <laughs> being that I am also Pinoy, but um, our family actually does not add corn. We usually add cabbage, bok choy, green beans, uh, potatoes. Sometimes purple. Sometimes we add. Sometimes we add bananas, and black peppercorn, onions. What else do we add? What else do we add? Am I missing something? No, that's what typically what Aris uses. Also sometimes Patisse, but lately we have not been adding as much Patisse because my grandma can't is not allowed to have as much salt as she used to. Yeah, I don't like adding banana very often either. It kind of makes it a little taste a little sweet for my taste. I can't believe I just said taste twice. Ah, uh, Winter, welcome to the stream. We are discussed. We have more than one. We have more than two Panoi, uh, Panais in chat tonight. So we are discussing Nilaga. <laughs> but yeah, we don't. I don't typically like adding petite or adding banana to Nilaga either, and neither does my dad. But sometimes my mom requests it. It's not bad. It's just different because I'm not used to Nilaga tasting sweet. Serap kaya nang sabanas asa nilaga. Please, please forgive my terrible pronunciation. <laughs> Ooh. Now, what is funny is, um, I'm assuming both of you have eaten bistek tagalog. Uh, bistek in my family, we ours is really sweet. Like we almost use next to no soy sauce in our bistek, in our bistek. So when I went, when I ate bistec as a kid in the Philippines for the first time, we we went to a restaurant and ordered it. I puckered my mouth because I I never had bistec that that was super sour before. Like it was just like eating pure common sea juice. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, why is it so sour? Because my grandma, uh, my Lola, used to make bistec with lots of sugar in it. It's very sweet, and sometimes. My dad has a hard time making it, uh, keeping making the bistec taste consistent. It always tastes different. So sometimes when he requests onions, I buy Vidalia onions so that if he makes it too sour, it actually gets sweetened because of the Vidalia. Thank you for the uh, costume redeem. I'm now in kimono mode. It's actually getting cut pretty cold here. So and this is a summer outfit, but I like it. <laughs> Should be sweet and sour. That's very true. Not too sweet, not too sour. I even dislike too sour beef stick. Yeah, for me, when it's the perfect amount of uh, common sea and sugar, it's definitely I definitely prefer it when it's sweet and sour. But usually when I eat it, it's either really sweet or really sour. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't mind eating it either way. It's just uh, there's very very rarely is there balance brought to the force. So all this talk about foods making you hungry. <laughs> Uh, Orasna, over there in the Philippines right now. 13 hours ahead, right? Is it morning over there? Should be... You see, you see food pick a lot, but nothing I eat is ever pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's only 11? Okay. I kind of figured that streaming at this time would be better for my Asian for my Asian friends, but then I felt bad because um, one of my support, one of my longtime supporters, she's from Singapore. She says she's not able to make my streams anymore because they're inconvenient times. I don't know if that's because they're during her school hours or what. I know I felt bad for the Europeans because now none of the European follower, all my European followers, are having a hard time visiting my streams for any day that's not Saturday, because it's so late for them. But. 
Oh. Yeah, well, I guess that's bad as streamer life. Sometimes people just can't make it to all of your streams, and that sucks, but what can you do? <laughs> Which is part of the reason why I always try, I always appreciate when anyone shows up, regardless of the time or regardless of the frequency, because the fact of the matter is, it's always a blessing when people show up to your streams. They're literally spending, they literally have to spend sometimes hours of their time to come visit you and all of us have like what hundreds of people in our follow list on twitch now <laughs> mom spaghetti i had the same issue with my thigh followers i used to stream at dgen hours but had to fix my schedule a bit yeah big mood big mood big mood i hate the time zones Believe me, when I first started streaming, I did not expect that the majority of my followers and friends would be from Southeast Asia. I think that's fairly... There's something... There's something funny about that. <laughs> that's also why I hang out with a lot of the Filipino VTubers so much, because I'm around during the hours that they're also around. Like, if y'all wonder why it is that I'm able to visit so often in the morning, it's because I still work from home, so I just pop everyone on the stream, and I'll just, like... I'll just, I'll, I'll literally just have y'all in the background while I'm doing work. Let me read back chat just to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Uh, potatoes, yes, forgot. Lolo Nilaga, da 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 I don't really like Sababada. I think my parents sometimes even add plantains to Nilaga. To me, plantains might as well be banana. They don't taste very different. But I noticed that we never eat plantains raw. We always cook plantain. <laughs> uh, Alright, I caught up with chat. <laughs> it's pronounced as Thai lols. Did I say? I thought I said I thought it's pronounced Thai. T h a t h a i. I didn't realize. Is it supposed to be pronounced Thai? Just like as in a as in a necktie. Uh, Thai follower. Uh, I mostly cater to U.S. time zone now recently, especially that I work midnight so my body is used. Thai, yes, I have lots of those. It's pronounced Thai lols. Of course, I know it's me. Lol, I need to eat batangas. Go to right now and talk about bad boy. Eat food. Uh, yeah, y'all should get breakfast if you haven't already. <laughs> now has good food. Wait, why did I not reply to Millie VT? Funtakai Tai Tai, just go to my province. <laughs> Natalie, are you from Tagatai? Uh, Tai is a necktie. I didn't realize it was pronounced Tai as a necktie. I wonder why. Because we have a thigh user in Danger U. Um, and now that I say that, I, their name escapes me. Great. I, I don't know why the name escapes me, but. They've never corrected me on that. I always thought it was pronounced necktie, or I thought it was pronounced like your thighs. My bad. My bad. Uh, it's tie like one bus to Rizal area using G liner for NCR. The H is silent. Nope. Oh, you're from Tai Tai. My bad. I thought you were from Tagatai. Ah uh, yes, I'm from Thailand. Basically, Rizal area next to Marikina and Artigas and Orti and Ortigas. Okay, okay, I understand now. <laughs> thigh user. A thigh user sounds like a kind of stand or sounds like something from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Ah, yes, a thigh user. You're getting distracted with thighs, huh? I'll show you a thigh to get distracted with. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, shit, I forgot there are lesser horrors living here. That's okay though, chat. Lesser horrors are actually fairly easy to fight, especially since I have a lightning based weapon. And as you all know by now, horrors are weak to lightning damage. 
Oh, there's two of them. That's just lovely. Yeah, that's just lovely. You know what? We're gonna cheat, chat. We're gonna sh use the power of gun. Uh. Or I can just fire into empty space. Okay, that's great too. Let's reload. These things are fairly dumb, so I should be able to reload without having put it before they can retarget me. Uh, then again, traffic, so it will take time going to Manila. That's true. The infamous uh, Manila traffic never fails. Alright, time to finish them off. These are actually really small. Usually they're way bigger than this. Bet you there's a big daddy waiting around here, just waiting to ambush me. Oh, actually, uh, no, these are actually fairly easy, never mind. I didn't actually need to try that time, after all. Which means there's probably a greater horror hiding around here, so I better stay on my toes, chat. Gonna reload my firearms really quick. When I meet a fellow thigh user, <laughs> thank you for the lurk, and Anatheli. I hope you have a great breakfast. Why did I just waste a bullet? I'm dumb sometimes, I swear to God. Uh, okay, uh, there we go, and we're gonna go over here. I don't think we need to heal yet, chap. We have a little bit before we need healing, but we got plenty of bandages, so we can always make more anyway. Marikina, Pasig, our next... Marikina, Pasig... All right, next to us, Southwood would be Laguna. Okay, I understand. <laughs> Ooh, Rage Potions. I could always use a Rage Potion or three. Scavenger Mask. Further defense potions and some bandages. I'll come back later and grab the rest of the stuff after I've looted the shit out of this dungeon. The absolute shit of this dungeon. So, uh, what else we got around here? Uh, did something change? I wonder what's behind that door. Probably a boss? Alright, the battle- the music changed, which means that there's a battle going on right now. There is a enemy around here. Oh! Oh, snap! Oh, you are a cy- you are an ugly motherfucker! The hell's that? A DK sign? Oh, I missed. How do you miss with this? Ow. Oh, I think he's entering rage mode. He doesn't like the fact that I shot him with guns. Welcome to the 14th century, bitch. Um, or whatever century it was when firearms were first invented. He appears to be burning to death, though, so maybe it's not a big deal. You dodge rolled straight into me. How do you feel, sucker? Loot the Immaculate Raider. Got some thorny cartilage here, an illuminating potion, which, uh... Which, uh, the drinker 
Here it grants the drinker the mana regeneration of Illuminator. Oh, that's kind of cool. Some Fire Varnish. Uh, Blood Shrooms and Authority Cartilage. Once again, we will pick up the Gnats later, chat. It's a good thing I have so many bandages, though. Damn. Even with my equipment, he still does so much damage to me. On top of that, I think I've been hexed. I have a debuff here, Tainted. Huh? What do you mean I'm tainted? What the fuck? Oh, because I have 25% corruption. Well, that's just great. I'll need to get an anti-taint potion later. Drink that bitch up. I guess I could probably just... I could probably also just um, learn to craft one. Sometimes I feel I've got to dun dun. To dun dun away, I've got to dun dun. I don't. I don't understand the joke. I, I don't understand what that's a reference to. I'm sorry, I'm dumb steel. What's that a reference to? Is that a song? Oh, Tainted Love, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I took me a moment. Morpho Incense, huh, read. See a corpse here. Uh, do a little drinking of potions here. Cool. Uh, let's reload our firearms really quick. I'm definitely going to have to repair these guns later. They are... Oh, man. Yep. Uh, I'm going to have to repair these later for sure. They're starting to fall apart on me. I need to take better care of my guns, chat. So uh, let's uh... <laughs> What's behind this door? Oh, some nice loot here. Stabilizing forces. Why can't I hear the dun dun? <laughs> Why indeed? Why indeed? Is this it? Is this all? Is this the, all that can be found in a dungeon? Is there literally nothing else in this dungeon? There's even a, there's even a well here. Find four gemstone keys to activate the large console inside the Forgotten Research Laboratory. Four gemstone keys have been inserted into Guardian class golems separate from the assets control unit. Keep all keys separate until control has been reestablished. Hmm. So. They're probably not here then. They're probably. Around this uh, whole city or so. 
if that's the case, then our quest probably will not continue here. Wait, what? This wasn't here before, was it? Spooky. That's actually really cool. The way they've, um... The way they've pretty much set up this room. See, there's like a single chair here. Um, some junk. A bunch of these little things. And a corpse. Whew! This looks like it used to be a tribunal of some kind. Check that out. I like the way they do the storytelling in this game, honestly. I wonder who the last person was here, though. Look, isn't that sp the spookiest thing ever? It's like something out of Silent Hill. Let's read. Ancient note. I have faith in the designs of the golems. They can take a lot of punishment and really dish it out too. What gives me pause is the control mechanism, sir. It wrecks, it jacks raw mana intake directly into the puppeteer and keeps them comatose the entire time. This will kill anyone who controls the things for more than a few weeks, especially if they do not take frequent breaks. Curious. It looks like that Goosebumps episode where the kid gets sent to hell for getting mad at his parents. That was an episode of Goosebumps? I mean, I know Goosebumps had some legitimately freaky episodes, but... Whoa, look at this stone, tourmaline. You know what? There's so few loot remaining in this area that I could probably just pick all this stuff up. Do I have enough room? The two nine. Yeah, I could I could pick up everything in this. That's all the remaining junk in this uh, dungeon and bring it home. Don't go to sleep is the book. <clears throat> I'll look it up. Most of the books that I remember from that I remember from Goosebumps were like. The actually not so scary ones, the kind of funny ones. I think it was Are You Alone in the Dark was the TV show that scared my host as a kid. Especially I had one episode about the pinball machine. That one was freaky. I wonder if there's any hidden rooms in this one as well. Not as far as I can tell, chat.
Oh yes, Tales from the Crypt, but for children. What happened to that subgenre of kids' entertainment? I don't know. Um, if Cartoon Network's anything but to go by, my understanding is that they're focusing more on making shows for the uh, younger than tw younger than tweens market. People are in single digits still. And their focus is, they're basically going back to the Transformers and uh, G.I. Joe era. Back when TV shows were really just giant or really just extended advertisements. Something like that. Books are a hard sell these days. We could probably use going back to those days, you know. Back when I kind of was worried about giving, I kind of felt bad about when they were growing up, uh, giving my niece and nephew the chance to use my phone or to play with, or use my phone or to play with my game consoles. Because I was afraid of them getting addicted to them. And even at my niece's recent birthday, um, my nephew got into an argument with his father over wanting the phone when they wanted him to focus on his sister's birthday. Which I guess is to be expected. It was like that even when I was... Even when my host was growing up, right? Except it's even worse now just because of the variety of content that they can have access to and get addicted to online. As a Yu-Gi-Oh player, what's a book? It's like a card, but not as many words. Not as many words. I see what you did there. Sir, what are words? I still stand by my belief that Accelerated Reader really fucked people up. Nothing like forcing a generation of kids to read books, causing them to hate reading. Well, chat, it looks like I already mostly cleaned out this dungeon. We're going to go ahead and head back to town. Uh, store some of my spoils, sell the rest. And then we're going to explore a different part of Harmattan entirely. But it was because I had to grind book speed before I could read the books I went in class. That is a good point. That is how it worked, isn't it? wasn't it? Remember when they used to say stuff like, oh, you read at, at at a reading level several ages above you? And shit like that. I did, always did wonder um, about the veracity of those statements because it felt like everyone in my class had a reading level that was like two or three grades above their actual grade. I never was into reading. I always just cheated the system and read the same books since I had different teachers. Didn't have to write any more reports too. Oh my god. You know... In retrospect, I don't think I would have. I don't think my host would have gotten into reading or writing as much as they did if it were not for the, dis the discovery of internet forums and 
discovering they had latent writing abilities on one of those internet forums where they had a form, a discussion center for writing stories. I didn't know Farscape had a book. I thought that was just a TV show. One second, I need to check on something, chat. Just to snoop around. I'm just thinking too much into it. All right, world. What are we doing again? All right, yeah. Um, outward. I wrote one book report on Dragons of Autumn Twilight, the Dragonlance novel. Oh shit! You you read that stuff in grade school? Lucky. I don't think Dragonlance was around yet, so I read the Dragon Rider Superan series. The teacher stopped calling on me after I had to bring my annotated copy of the anthology into class, which was over 600 pages hardback. <laughs> this was like second grade. There was like one, yeah, but yeah, mostly a TV show. I was obsessed with it growing up, still watch it occasionally. Farscape was prime science fiction at the time. Uh... Prime, I should say, janky science fiction. The kind that didn't take itself way too seriously. I didn't. Wa I wasn't. I didn't grow up with Farscape, even though I did see a few episodes of it when I was younger. I was more of a uh, Stargate person and a uh, Star Trek Next Generation person. That's when you realize how dumb the system was. <laughs> I watched a lot of Star Trek and Stargate too. Oh no, I'm getting hungry, chat. It's too bad that I, it's a good thing that I have food here. Food that I will that I refuse to eat because this is also for removing poisons and diseases. Well, I guess it would spoil if I didn't eat it anyway, so maybe I should. Oh, hey. Here's some food right here. Who'd have thought? Boiled Viber egg. A la mode. Alright, let's go take a nice nappy nap and we'll head back to town tomorrow. It was neat seeing Ben Browder and Claudia Black in Stargate later on. Yeah, it was. I'm kind of upset Star Wars was the sci-fi I grew up with. Look what they did to my poor baby. Yeah. How do you think I feel about Star Wars? <laughs> uh, not to... Not to rain on your parade or anything, but I know how you feel. While I have y'all here, would you be interested in have in watching uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners with us on Saturday? I'm collecting people to go do that, basically. I'm planning on streaming more Cyberpunk 2077 also, since it seems to be in vogue again.
Gonna be tough for me to make the watch party, to be honest, with my schedule. Can you believe that people think Star Wars 9 is their favorite Star Wars film? Yeah. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> oh, those are definitely words. Words that should not be in the same sentence together. Nine and enjoyment. I'm not around on Saturday, so I won't be able to. It's my roommate's parent. It caused lots of arguments. Ew. That sucks. Um, Saturday is not final. I haven't even decided if it's going to be early morning or if it's going to be morning or evening. But it's just a thought. Want to see if I, see if I can get the... Uh, Largest number of, or see if I can find a time that's the best, that's best for the largest number of people. <laughs> so maybe I should rephrase my question. If we watch, uh, Cyberpunk, if we decide to do a Cyberpunk Edge Runners watch along, what would be a good time, a convenient time for y'all to watch with us? This leads to the back entrance of town. Oh, what fresh hell is that? I do not like the looks of that chat. Oh, shit. Oh, it Punch, it hits like a, punches like a fucking brick. Oh my god. That is an ugly motherfucker. Look at this thing, man. Ugly. And about to die, too, so, you know. I'll put it out of its misery soon. Arcane elemental? Disgusting. Well, it's dead now. I put it out of its misery, like I said I would. My stuff is kind of all over the place. Hard, not worth it to schedule around me. Okay. Uh, if you say so. I'll let you know when we're doing it either way, in case you end up being uh, free. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful view, isn't it? You know, this area of Outward kind of reminds me a lot of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Just all these open fields and all these cliffs. I'll try to stop by if I can. Interested in the show at least a little bit. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> I'm thinking about opening up uh, the watch along too to people on Twitter, if anyone wants to stop by. The only problem is, as you may or may not know, I am a little bit, um, I'm a little bit on edge when it comes to inviting people to our Discord. So, I haven't this for like future clip, which is a problem, of course, with like future collapse and stuff, right? Because we would need a place to commiserate and whatnot. Um, I think. We have a small enough group that would be interested in watching Edge Runners that we'll probably just do it in our own Discord, but we get off at work at 9 p.m. at 9 in the morning CST and go to work at 23 CST. Oh, so that's not terrible. We could always work, we could definitely work around that. Did there used to be a moat here? Is that why there's salt down there? 
Did this used to be all be underwater? Oh, it did. These used this used to be like a series of islands or something. That's kind of fucked up. Immersive storytelling. I really like that actually. Um, there's a lot to be said about games being really barren and being lazy about the way they explain stuff, but I think Alvar does a fairly good job of letting the letting the player decide for themselves what happens and making things really spooky. Like, for instance, at first I thought those purple glowy things were like power lines. So finding out that they were not, in fact, power lines, they were, in fact, the remains of a magical train system. That was kind of cool. I'd even say that's real. that was really cool, finding that out. Can I help you? Ooh, boozy milk. Raw milk from a female Buzu. Buzu's meat, raw meat that resists corruption. So, are there actually like cows around here called Buzus? Because if there are, I want to go meet them and eat them. I'd hate to play an open world game that was just totally barren and lifeless to have recent fallout games to him. <laughs> Well, what do what the hell do you expect from Bethesda? <laughs> Want to buy something? Craft you something. Shield golem scraps. Want to buy something? Shield golems can kiss my taint. Assholes. You know this virgin, these vir this virgin equipment stuff, kind of looks interesting. I'll probably need to spend I'll probably need to spend some time later figuring out how that whole system works. I will take their virginity, the virginity of this armor. You better have the money. I'll give you something better than art, better than money. I wonder if the alchemist has something that could lower my that can lower my corruption. Excuse me. Can I help you? So this is a hunter, huh? Oh hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Can I help you? Aha! The wolf pistol. And a Keze pistol. It's funny that they're selling a Keizai pistol here too. Does this mean I'm going to run into a Keizai that can shoot people? The wolf pistol though looks like it might be worth every penny. I will need to go grab my... Um, I will need to go grab my gold bars to use it though. Oh, who goes there? Uh, oh, Winter, thank you so much for resubscribing. <laughs> thank you very much. M much, much appreciated. Need something. Six months now. Man, I've known all of y'all for a really long time, haven't I? Six months, four months for Millie. 
Time sure flies, doesn't it? Kind of spooky. Well, not spooky. Spooky is not the correct term. Kind of pog. Pog is the best term for such an occurrence. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Really appreciate that, you know. <laughs> How can I help you? Aha! Anti-corruption potion. I'll take your entire stock. In return, you can have, um... Something. In my inventory. Um... What am I gonna trade to her, chat? I guess I don't really need this elemental particle stuff, but this looks rare. It's really expensive. 54 silver each? I guess I could give her a tourmaline. I guess I could also just stop being a pussy and make it get some money. Yes, the thought of impending doom nearing us all. <laughs> you got a nice collection of thigh followers. I suppose I do. And I'm truly thankful for this. For which I'm truly thankful, I should say. Derp. Once again, Chad, I am pure. 5% pure. Feels good, man. Why is it raining through the canopy here? And 10 game design, right? All right, I think we've cleared out, cleared out our inventory there in a proper manner. What else we got here? Pretty good. Question now, chat, is where do we go from here? I guess the real answer is we could go anywhere. We can do anything. We can do anything. We could possibly even save the world if we were careful. Only possibly, though. Survival is not guaranteed. Nor expected, for that matter.
I really wish you could, you know, do melee stuff from the onset of the game instead of just later in the game. I guess I could roleplay as him as a monk at any time. Since there aren't really skill but the problem is, well, you know, skills. You kind of need to build your character around this stuff. Almost forgot, I should go be I should bring some gold with me so I can purchase that badass looking gun. I could probably replace one of my cannon pistols with it. Although these things have extremely high impact, but I haven't really needed to use them because they don't do that much dam as much damage. And how much does it cost? Around a thousand, right? So we just need around 11 of these should do. I'm, really, I'm going to be pissed if I end up just finding one in the wild. But then I'll have two of them. That's not all bad. Can I help you? Can I help you? I'm tempted to buy the Keizai pistol too. I just have a nice collection of guns. Honestly. But actually, I prefer crafting my weapons whenever possible. Usually, crafted weapons are better than shit you just purchase. Like, imagine if I was able to craft this horror bow. Well, you could order to craft this pistol for that matter, right? Wait, I don't need two of these, what? I just need the one. Alright, so we've read that. Let's take a look here. Beast Golem Halberd. I need an Iron Halberd and two Beast Golem Scraps. This looks like kind of, it would be cool. I'm pretty sure I have more than one Beast Golem Scrap for this Iron Halberd. So I made one of these earlier, remember? I just don't use it anymore because I don't need to. The Bone Pistol. Needs a basic flintlock pistol, two occult remains, and some crystal powder. It causes ethereal damage. And inflicts haunted. That's actually really, that's actually kind of cool. This Buzu backpack is also pretty cool. It just needs a scaled satchel and some Buzu hide. Of course, where am I going to find Buzu? Some interesting weapons here too. A galvanic pistol. Kind of looks like a fancy pistol. Just needs a shield golem scrap, some palladium, some crystal powder, and a basic gun. This inflicts pain too, which is fairly good, all things considered. I wonder if you can make a golden gun in this game too. I would like to have one of these, a horror bow. Seems fairly disgusting. Can I help you? So, give me the wolf pistol, my dude. I wonder if I can trade enough stuff to have him give me the Keizai pistol as well to add to my collection. I guess I could trade in one of my cannon pistols. I don't want to. Eh. Eh.
We'll buy this one for now. To start off with. Then we'll Can go I ahead you? grab another gold bar and purchase the Keizai pistol as well. Thank you. Lurk time. Thank you. Thanks for your lurk. And I'll try. You have a great rest of your day. Can I help you? Oh, I can actually comfortably wield all these guns. Who'd have thought? Wait, where did my... Damn it. Can I help you? There we go. All pistols loaded. Very cool, very pog. Uh. Need something? My ornate pistols are in need of repairs though. Looks like I have enough silver to fix that to fix them up. We'll go ahead and do that really quick chat before we head on our next adventure. Want to buy something? All right. All right. Cool, everything is repaired properly.
Let's see what we can cook. This stuff is not that heavy anyway. At least I don't think it is. I could end up stay being stand. I could end up standing being standing without a being stood corrected if I'm not careful. Ah, eh, who am I kidding? That's probably gonna happen, isn't it, chat? Ah, Discipline Potion. And a Great Astral Potion, no less. Orcs, 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 wog. <laughs> Welcome back. How is breakfast? I'm out of salt already? Damn. Lots of bread, though. You ate too much now? Your butt is flashing? <laughs> Why is your butt flashing? Just because you ate a lot. That reminds me, I should probably do my Duolingo classes really quick. Oh, you're thick. I see how it is. That is certainly a reason. second chat just do going to do a lesson or two in the meanwhile are y'all learning any other languages besides are, are y'all learning any languages currently or attempting to You're learning orc language? <laughs> Are 
Are you now? Since I started to get possessed by some orc knob. I see you're referring to Warhammer orcs then. Nice. Have you painted yourself entirely red yet so you can run so you can move faster? Of course, you're much faster. Mm -hmm. Glorious. I have not attempted this myself yet. However, I am pink in this outfit. That's fairly close, right? The shade of red. to work or back to the game I should say I take a sippy sip of my drink here really quick some water I am yellow I shoot to make things explode like the Tao Empire basically right I'm a big fan of the Imperium of Man, in particular Tech Priests and the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I am a little bit, a little bit, and by a little bit I mean very biased towards Adeptus Mechanicus. Yeah, I like those blue boys. <laughs> Adeptus Mechanicus, yeah. You have real mechs, huh? Oh, really? Those are fighting words, I bet. Why don't you worship your gubbins? Do you not beseech the machine spirit for aid every time you have to activate one of your machines? Shaking my head, shaking my head. <laughs> you smack your trucks and put that engine over there, see? I understand. <laughs> sure sounds like a whole bunch of heresy to me, though. Not gonna lie. That's true. Orcs just literally believe if something works and then it happens. It's kind of spooky. In some ways, you're more chaotic than even chaos uh, cultists are. And that's really saying something. You could almost say that orcs are powered entirely through willpower. Yeah, that's probably the case, honestly. Twelve shots. Well, more like... Six shots. I have six... Six guns. At work earlier, I asked that boss man of mine, I want AK. 
because he's Shuta. My boss man is Afghan and he promised AK. Oh, that's nice. If I did work good. <laughs> can you trust bot can you trust the boss man to give you big daka? Greetings, friend. He is your good friend? I'm glad to hear it. He fight good as well. <laughs> That is respect. If there's one thing orcs do respect, it is a good fight. Even as a member of the Adeptus Mechanicus, I can appreciate a good fight. Good wog. Mm-hmm. A very good wag, I'm sure. You can now enter the ruins near the ancient bunker, ruined hippodrome, and ancient turbine. Damn, nature turbines all the way down there, far south. What a pain in the ass. Honestly. Let's go to the ruined hippodrome for next. Welcome back to normal. What is normal anyway? Overrated. Am I right? <laughs> You're possessed by an orc knob. It do be happening from time to time. Mm -hmm. I understand. Primark Vulcan was possessed by an orc knob? That's the first I've heard of this. It must have been a very embarrassing experience for him. Effect of Perpetual. I see. Yep, because the beast merged with him after he died. I understand. Ah! This just happens to be here. <laughs> Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. What do you have for sale, buddy? Char cartilage? Some gemstones? Uh, I got nothing to give to sell to you right now, unfortunately. Same thing happened to me because I'm a follower of Korn, basically. I smashed the orc, he smashed my face. Which, somehow, I can't detail what happened. I will say being smashed in the face does a number on your psyche. Let's just say you lost your head. Okay, let's just say it then. <laughs> oh, I see. That makes a lot more sense. I'm typically in the process of breaking myself up into small bits, but I've never really been broken intentionally by someone else. The advantage of being bioengineered so I can grow a new head that looks exactly the same? That's fascinating. So you are not a human being? Or you're a bioengineered human being? Hmm. 
Oh, you're basically a mutant, I see. Half bunny, half human, not to mention corn revived me too, so you warp magic? I see. <laughs> magic is fascinating to me. I'm still trying to get used to the concept of it, ever since I was turned into a human once by a different VTuber. That was one experience that I cannot wait to experience again. Whoa. Just to explain what your lore is, I see. Thank you for taking the time, by the way. I always appreciate a good VTuber lore. Whoa, what the hell are those? Those are some spooky looking motherfuckers. I will definitely not be fighting those things mano a mano. I will definitely be cheating to defeat them. hell is that? Oh, I see. An elemental. Originally, I was a figment of a person. I became real, then I was designed as SCP. Also became an ex-Arkham inmate. Interesting. I wonder if I was a figment of a person's imagination at one point. What in blazes is that? That is quite possibly one of the strangest looking horrors I've ever seen. We are definitely going to cheat when fighting it while fighting him. But the question is, which one do I fight first? Which one is easier, I wonder? Hmm. If I had to guess... They both can fire. This one, the other one, the shield creature, can definitely fire laser beams from its face. But what skills does this thing have? Hopefully, nothing of note. Was that supposed to be a magic spell? Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, they do have ranged attacks. And they can climb too, apparently. And I guess their AI pathing is not as dumb as I was led to believe. Oh no. The AI pathing is not as dumb as I was led to believe. Oh shit. I am trapped here. Or am I? Ha! Ah, get juked, motherfucker! Well, this was a terrible idea. I did not expect him to actually climb up here. I really should probably... What's wrong with my... Sapped? Elemental damage? Negative 40%? Well, that's just mean. Hopefully they didn't return recover their health all that easily. Then after that, I got to recreate it again from scratch, designated for warfare. Basically, my brethren are muscle brown or beautiful. Some are genetic failures. I'm one of the failed batch, and I escaped. Became a refugee in the vaults. Went out to Washington D.C. to fight enclave under factions. Then traveled through the U.S. and stayed at Vegas. I see. 
Very interesting. <laughs> oh, can you fuck right off? Not you. This uh, thing in the game. Some sort of weird flesh golem. Oh, crap! How it feels to chew five gum, getting one shot by a fucking golem with a fucking sentient robot thing with lasers for eyes. So, are you staying in Vegas right now? Oh my god. I guess it could be worse, but I'm lost again, man. I don't know where the hell I am. This game just sort of randomly drops you places. Oh well. Might as well head to bed, I guess. At least in game. Is there a sleeping bag here? Works some mechanical jobs. And being errand girl to some random folks, then decided I want to work for NCR due to idealism. From a grunt until NCR ranger, became the solution, became mercenary, and then finally assassin. Got tired of legal things and worked as a courier. Then got shot by Benny on the head, and most fall New Vegas story is my own, in my own decision. Killed the rest of Caesar Legion. <laughs> At least he got to kill a bunch of people in the process, right? Basically, yes. See, there was already a good side, after all. Ah, forget this. I won't be able to find my way around this bloody place in the dark in dark of night anyway. I guess I might as well set up camp. Or rather, I would I should go ahead and grow camp. These things are convenient, but I can't move them. That's the only problem. Let's sleep for a few hours. So after that, you stayed a few years in Vegas, moved to San Francisco for a few months, then Mexico, did some stuff with others, and massacred the Legionnaires. And after five years, you went to London to work on an underground group to fight the Ghoulify Queen. The Queen became a ghoul? Since when? Oh, for crying out loud, who is... Idiot. Get countered, idiot. Oh, there's four of you. Oh, there's a whole bunch of you. What the shit? Well, you know what they say. It's just free money. Pick the wrong asshole to rob. Get wrecked. Fallout London? Very nice. Oh, Kazite armor. What do you know? I ended up getting some Kazite armor after all. I didn't need to go find a dungeon that I lost either. Thank you for your equipment, everyone. Now, I guess we'll have to head back to town, sell off some of this garbage.
He defeated the Queen and the Shady Secret Society there on London, went to Ukraine, Pripyat to work as a mercenary again. And IQ, and that is the Stalker arc? I see. I like how you're actually into... I like how the games that you're playing, that you cover on stream, actually relate to your backstory. So far, I only had one stream which related directly to my backstory, my own backstory. And that was the time I was turned into a human being for once by a uh, VTuber wizard. A uh, VTuber conjur conjuration. A uh, conjurer, I should say. So that was cool. At the time. Where are we, chat? That is always the question. It appears we're heading east, which implies we're over here somewhere. If that's the river, there's the uh, broken down train. I think I'm already 35 years old somewhere on Stalker storyline. I see. There's the busted up train. The question is, where is a busted up train relate in compared to So does that mean I'm over here somewhere? Maybe I'm not that far away from town? But wait, if that's town, then I'm actually over I must be over here somewhere. Maybe if we head towards the town, or towards town, it'll lead us to the gates itself. During Fallout, it would be somewhere 19 or 34 years old. I see. Where am I, chat? There's like a little cove here. A little cubby hole. So yeah, you spent your 20s escaping from laboratory to doing something from third parts of the world. This explains why I'm extremely proficient with guns, explosives, and other methods of conducting conventional and conventional warfare, and also hand-to-hand -hand combat. Very nice. Dumb rat thing. Take your meat. Your meat is mine. Give me your meat. Alright. If I'm right, I should be able to head to town from here. If I'm wrong, well, we'll worry about that when we get to it. Also, you're wealthy. I amassed wealth, so I run my own PMC in Vegas, Ukraine, DC, London, and Mexico. Oh, that's cool. I would love to run my own PMC someday. Unfortunately, I would need a body for that still. And bodies, or so I've been told by my host, do not come cheap. Honestly, sometimes I wonder about how it's possible to transfer a digital consciousness into a flesh a flesh and blood one in the early 2020s but hey i'm not questioning it i can be your battlefield control ai oh you flatter me need some command control of your pmc <laughs> Uh, 
I'd love to command and control someone's pe <clears throat> Just like in Command and Conquer, that's also the game I was thinking of when you mentioned that. Not gonna lie. Oh, who's this? Dean of Naturalism? Oh, don't tempt me to violence. <laughs> the fun part people underestimated me since I look cute and hot. I thought she used stinky lol, stinky lines. She did sort of look stinky, didn't she? What, a, what an absolute stinker. I like their tall hats. Tall hats are tall. Need something? Alright then. Sell this, sell this, sell this. sword. Very nice. And a wolf shield. These are all some really high-end equipment. Loot that hat for me? I would, but I don't think the game's gonna let me attack the person. To be fair, I haven't tried. But unfortunately, there's no quick save option in this game. It's entirely auto save, so if I fuck up, I won't be able to re return to the previous save. So maybe next time. <laughs> One of these days, I should probably try playing this game co op with someone. I mean, I steal stuff during my time in DC and Vegas, heck even Mexico or London. Really now? Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Also in Ukraine too. Chaotic neutral. <laughs> Same hat. I too consider myself chaotic neutral for the po most part. Some people think I'm straight up malicious though. But I don't blame them. My host definitely believes I'm straight up malicious. Now here's the question, where did I exit out from just now? This one? Or over here? That's why I'm confused. I'm up- I exited out here. This is the northern entrance. Then I wonder if there's a way to get up into this build- this area. Hmm. Is there even anything up there? 
now I'm curious. I Maybe mean, it's a whole section of the game that was never finished. If I go this way, it's going to be a long ways around just to get to the ruined Hippodrome. Maybe it'd be better if I just go in through the south. Okay, you need to go now. You didn't have a good sleep. I will host. You will host me. Thank you so much for the host. I'm glad we're making use of that feature before it goes away soon. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by and you're always welcome back. Aw. Thank you so much for gifting a sub too. Ah. Thanks a lot, Nathalie. Have a good night, or have a good day, I should say. Ah, this will last a while. People seem to like it, though. It never gets old. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Since I used up all my seed tents, I'd better just bring a regular tent. Alright, let's try and re-enter the hippo trail. Now that we know what we're up against, it's time to use our secret weapons. Many, 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 many traps and many explosives. Which we will proceed to for to trick the enemies into walking over until they are so weak I can just stab I can just poke them with my sword and kill them. To anyone else, that may seem like a stupid. This may seem like a really cheap out, cheap cop out. But then you actually play this game, realize how bullshit difficult it is, and realize that no, there is no other way to play this game than to be a rogue. Ninety percent of the time. Oh, 
all rogue all the time, chat. And I think I got lost again. Is this the back entrance? What is this place? Abandoned storage. This must be over here then. I wonder what's in the abandoned storage area. Alpha Wookie, you got banned on Twitter but just because I said Fall Guys Supremacy? Wow. I've honestly seen some stupid reasons to get banned from Twitter, but that's actually pretty fucking dumb, I'm not gonna lie. Is that really what Twitter said that you got banned for? I'm really sorry to hear that. Oh, I forgot to put this case out armor away. Well, I still got some room to carry some stuff home, I'm sure. Oh. Spooky, scary skeletons. Of all the times to not bring my ethereal... To not bring my uh, ethereal stuff. Anti-ethereal, I should say. Haha, -ha, electricity damage goes burr. Wow, I probably didn't need to use my electricity buffs on this after all. That was a little too easy. I'm kind of spooked, in fact. That was t way too easy. Read this. Grab some bullets, thank you. Yep, just made the account too. I have a new one now, but it still kind of sucks. Yeah, no kidding. I still can't believe that you got banned for something dumb like that. For a moment there, I thought that was a car. I wonder if this is a dungeon onto itself or... An arcane damner? Oh, well, well, well. What are you, motherfuckers? <laughs> yeah. Ghost skellies aren't that hard when you have ma when you have magic infused weapons. Who'd have thought, right? This disgusting arcane elemental thing wasn't that bad either. Two alchemy kits, an endurance potion, and an elemental resistance potion. You guys are spoiling me. That's a dead end. Ooh, Golem Elixir. That's fairly rare. Fairly good, too. Let's see what's upstairs, shall we, chat? I probably should head back to town and dump this. A crate cleaver? got some decent loot this time. Maybe too much loot. So once again, I'm in slow mode, but thankfully, it looks like this is a fairly small dungeon, so we should be able to make it home in one piece, I'm hoping. In before famous last words. Again. All right, fine. Fuck. Yeah, I guess this was just a mini dungeon, chap.
After removing those two ghosties, not much else waiting out here. Head back to town really quick. Really wish I had one of those speed potion things. Hmm. Actually. I guess we move marginally faster? No idea. I don't use as nearly as much stamina, but we're going roughly the same speed, I suppose. Not gonna lie though, this Keizai armor looks pretty sick on me. Maybe if I was going more of a ninja build, I would use this stuff more often, you know? to guess that we're over here somewhere so we should just be able to make a right and head straight into Hermatin City. Just past this uh little wall over here. As long as I don't get molested on the way there by a rolling by a golem or something. We should be able to just make a nice little stroll back to town with our new loot. Maybe. You know how this game is. Lexus surprise you. Just the randomness shit. My lantern's around half empty. I'll need to think about getting a power cell for it eventually. Oh, it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day for neighbors. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? This city must have been really nice to look at at one point. Makes me wonder what Hermaten used to be. This thing over here anyway. Where you mean part of town that's not fucked up. I'm thinking about just wearing this armor because it looks more aesthetically pleasing than the big overflowing overcoat thing, but it's just not better than a pearlescent male. I mean, lower re slash resistance, lower impact resistance, doesn't use as much stamina, but my other suit just gives me better stats, 15% extra damage. I mean, I don't have a better helmet. I'm mostly using this helmet for aesthetic reasons. It goes great with a pearlescent male. And of course, I don't have better boots at the moment. That's why I'm using Master Trader boots. I wonder if we're going to be able to make it to the door before my stamina runs out, chat.
2 hours and 30 minutes. I wonder if she go to 3 hours tonight or go up to 4 or 5. I guess it depends on a variety of factors. Need something? Another day is dawning. Another day is dawning. Lip sync, please work. For fuck's sake.
here. This is where our goals will be. Goals will lead. Yes, indeed. Then start setting up. Look at that sun. Huh? Are they fighting each other? Interesting. Wonder if that's an accident or what? Let's cast a few buffs and we'll be good to go. DK, huh? Interesting.
I really out of arrows already? Man. Achievement unlocked. Kill a pure illuminator. Well, that's just cute. I guess this thing was supposed to be difficult or something. Interesting that it's pure, quote unquote, despite being, you know, a corrupted creature of some kind. Come on then. What you're waiting for, idiot. Hey, don't go back down there. Oh shit. Monkey see, monkey do. Come on. Worth. And good riddance too, I would say. Good corruption. Hmm. worth. I can't believe I used over 14 traps just to kill these things, but it was totally worth it. It feels like. That's the highlight of this stream tonight, chat. Even though we did die a few times, we managed to kill these two bastards. I'm annoyed, though. They didn't give me any of the, uh, any of their shells that I would be needing. What's this? Uh, another one of these Vibra things. I wonder what this does. Was there an opening somewhere? chest. Some interesting tools you got here. Another light helmet. Horror boots. More pure chitin. Possessed potion. So many good loots today, chat. So much good shit. Horror boots, though. That's the first I've seen horror-based equipment. Horror greaves. Half-plate boots. Pure chitin. Pure chitin. Palladium scrap. And... Huh. Corruption resistance, negative 5. But you do... But I do 10% poison damage. Take more damage from lightning attacks. More resistance to slashing. Two armor. It also costs plus four stamina and it makes me slower by four. But we can in fact craft this thanks to our equipment. Very well. We'll decide that later on though. Let's see where that gate has opened us.
outside the hippodrome and there doesn't seem to be anything here. Makes me really curious. Where does this stuff lead? Does that lever lead? Yeah, I missed a trap door or something. Where's that lead? Another entrance, maybe? the city of Hermaton. Very odd. I'm starting to feel myself fade. We might end at three hours today, chap. We'll see how I'm feeling in the next few minutes. Ah, so there was an entrance after all. Maybe not. Just a little depression in the ground. Blacksmith 3? wonder how deep this thing is. If it's too deep, we might have to come back later for all the equipment, for all the uh, loot we're going to be leaving behind. Oh, uh, this has dungeon written all over it. I can't imagine that this will be done in one, that this will be done in today's session chat. Might have to save this for next session. Are those machines? Oh, yeah. This already just has the marks of being super difficult. Magitech. Broken robots, no less. It's like we're having a genre shift here, chat. Genre shift from fantasy to sci-fi. That's a big-ass drop. Something tells me that just exploring this area alone will take a whole session. And yet, I he can't help but explore. Horror Chakram. Interesting. You know what? It just occurred to me. Did Harmatan create the horrors? Is that the reason why all this shit's here? Oh, we can't just drop below. Oh, 
wouldn't be surprised. Whoa, whoa, fuck! Holy shit! Bastard! I hate you guys so much! God damn it! Fucking rock shrimp things! God damn! Always comes out of nowhere! Jesus Christ! Stupid freaking shrimp! I swear to God! Gonna freaking. Ah! And to think I was falling asleep earlier. Piece of shit. God. I hate romantic shrimp. The rock shrimps. Fucking hell. That scared me. Damn it. Whew. That thing got me good. Horse is dead now, so Oh hi there. On guard, fuck boy. Power coil. And an assembly key. Cool, this is exactly what I needed. I wonder why a robot had the key, though. Is our check ram ice varnish? The game seems to be telling me something. It's almost as if it's saying, use the check rams in this stage for some reason. For what reason? I will only tell, chat. Looks extreme poison. Extreme poison, chat. Huh, where am I gonna get a thorn check ram from, though? Two of these guys, huh? Let's even the odds a little, shall we? And of course, my guns are not refilled. Yes, of course. Why am I not surprised? That is just my luck, isn't it? Should be able to take this one just fine. They're just rusted ones, though. I imagine that the non rusty ones are probably much more difficult to fight. So we shouldn't get too ahead of ourselves. Winter, thank you so much for the throw redeem. You missed me getting jump scared. <laughs> I know, right? Getting jump scared in a game like this. I scream pretty loudly, too. And it's by the stupidest of animals. No less. Yeah, I got jump scared in this game. I thought I killed- I thought I killed everything and I was just walking around. And suddenly a freaking gigantic insect pops out of nowhere and starts biting my face off. 
Yo, it's wicked. <laughs> I'm still alive though, as you could plainly see, but it scared the shit out of me. Also, I keep having to remind myself that the genre of this game is fantasy, because it's becoming more and more futuristic. We got robots and stuff, we're in a foundry full of giant mechanical arms. I mean, look at this stuff, right? All these robo parts. Is I check crams? A horror pistol. So I can make a horror gun now. Cool. I just need a cannon pistol, some occult remains, and some palladium. Inflicts extreme poison. Mm-hmm. Impressive, impressive. Impressive Karen. Let's unlock the gates. What on what horrors will I unleash now, both literal and metaphorical? Striped garb and a padded hump? We'll come back for that later. I should definitely... This must have been a uh, kitchen, a mess hall of some kind at one point. I'll drop this here for now and pick it up later, since there's persistence in this game. Since we could translate the uh, Hermatan language, we could probably read this later. Let's go explore a little bit deeper. A warehouse key, thank you. Well, that's not spooky at all, huh? That said, I am getting kind of tired at the moment. So I think it, since this, I'm pretty sure, fairly sure this uh, section of the game is going to get, is going to take a really long time completing an entirely new dungeon. We're probably going to do this next week instead. Oh, thank you for the headpats. I would like to thank you again for the sub, and I would like to thank you for being uh, a friend <laughs> and being a uh, YouTuber mutual for as long as you have. It's hard to believe that I'm going to be coming up on my year anniversary fairly soon. Honestly. That's going to be fun to celebrate. We'll be preparing that in advance. It's amazing to see how far we've come over this over the literal years, it feels like. Well, not the literal years, literal months, literal months. Uh. Oops. Y'all did not see that. Y'all did not see that either. I can't believe after all this time I still accidentally semi dox myself on shit. I say semi dox because that wasn't really much of a dox, was it? I guess it was also my fault for turning off my other monitors, so those windows did not just auto populate on those and they instead off populate on the main one. That's true, it is part of the stream flare. I guess if I really cared, I could just uh, hide this VOD later, and then when I upload it to YouTube, I'll just censor everything out. Then again, I'm fairly paranoid, all things considered, so I doubt you all would be able to find anything, even if you did use the information. There is one time where I accidentally um, forgot to close out of something explicit, um, and... I didn't realize that I realized it like a fraction of a second and I so shut it down and I was like saying and I was actually about to collab with two other people at a time. And they heard me like freak out, right? 
Don't worry, you almost doxed yourself with your real name. Panic was real. Oh my god. Oh, uh, that's certainly a mood. I'm glad you're okay, though. <laughs> so I thought I was safe and that I had not accidentally doxed um, something explicit. And then one of the people I was collabing with was like, oh, thanks for the suggestion. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you saw what you saw that then. <laughs> uh, it was no big deal, though. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, I guess they had good. They, I guess they had similar tastes. <laughs> uh, that's all. That's as far as I'm going to explain about that. <laughs> Thanks for the head pat. Who are we? Uh, who are we visiting tonight? Crabster is usually runs a show, but he's playing Gundam Evolution tonight instead. D Sync's playing Terraria. Jackal VT is playing Cyberpunk 2077. Hmm. I haven't said hi to El Amago in a while, and I have never I haven't returned their I haven't returned the time that they raided me with a decent number of people. You gotta respect something very cultured. <laughs> Fair enough. We're going to raid El Amago tonight. Let's they're playing Terraria. Let's make sure to know. Oh my god, they've been streaming for five hours straight. I hope they're not ending anytime soon. They're collabing with uh, a few other people, so I guess not. Raid L A Magal. Thank you everyone for coming tonight. I hope this was a most interesting stream, and I don't just mean the um, the uh, <clears throat> stuff near the end. With like with like a pickaxe. Um, we will be having our uh, Get to Gear Strive tournament on Friday. That will start at around. I'll start streaming around 1700 Central Standard Time. And on Saturday, I've not decided what we're doing on Saturday yet. It's probably not going to be a writing stream since the last attempts at last couple attempts at writing streams kind of fell flat on your face. But we'll find it. We'll see how I feel then. Thank you as always for coming tonight. Thank you for the subs as well. And I'll see you all soon. Oh, almost forgot. Um, Nice read message. Let's do. I have. Oh, girl. Uh, uh, hmm. That's weird. Why is it not? Do you have rotten eggs? I do not have rotten eggs. That's a shame. Something is wrong right now. Uh, with Twitch, it's not letting me just bring up my usual emotes. It's not. Usually, it auto it auto populates the emotes, but. It's not doing so right now for some weird reason. Oh well. Oh yeah? Yeah, Lol's raid it is, chat. Action or we could use yours or your or we could use well, use whichever you have access to, really. I mean calamity honestly is like as a shit will stop Yeah, so it would be See y'all soon. Oh shit, I got another raid. Oh, nice. I got uh Hello Oh that's not working. Oh, well. They've joined us for the waiting stream. Yeah. Hello everyone, I'm Elmajil, Elemental Mage, Magic Elemental, Variety Streamer, and right now, uh, me and some friends are doing, uh, Terraria. Uh, hello. Thank you. Thank you, Lols, for the raid. Let's...